Today I'm going to patch a couple holes in this old lawnmower deck without using a welder. If you like these kinds of how-to or automotive style videos, make sure to click the little subscribe button below. So what we're going to use instead of a welder is panel bonding adhesive. So the stuff I've got is Valvoline plyo grip, but 3M panel bond is probably the most common one you're going to see. For a project like this, it's not really going to matter. This is just what I happen to have. You'll see this stuff pretty often actually on newer cars too. If you pop your hood and look at some of the seams that might have been welded in the past, you'll see some adhesive kind of squeezing out from, it, from in the factory when they, when they basically glued it together. And there's actually some advantages to doing it this way. It is basically watertight sealed, so you're not going to get water up in there to rust it out and it really holds great as long as you've got enough surface area to kind of create a good bond. I'm using a dispenser. This is just a 3M 08571 dispensing gun and it's got a static mixer on the end. So if I'm doing a using quite a bit of this stuff I'll use a static mixer. If not I'll pop the mixer off and squirt some onto like a piece of cardboard and pre-mix it just like you would some JB Weld or something. I've already pre-cleaned my little patch panel so they're nice and shiny. What I use to clean up the metal really good is just a flap disc on an angle grinder. And I'll put a link to all this stuff in the video description so you can buy whatever you need to get your project done. And now we're going to go ahead and take this flap disc and we'll clean up the part of the deck that we're going to patch the hole in. I'm just going to go ahead and mark it so I don't take off more paint than I really need to here. And then we'll just clean up the metal here with our little flap disc. Try to get any of the oils off here. You can just use brake cleaner for this, or um, I'm basically using some Eastwood pre painting prep stuff. Now I'm just going to go ahead and retrace it so that I uh, don't end up putting this panel bond all over the place where I don't need it. I've got a couple just hotel key cards for kind of spreading this stuff around here that we're going to use. And then I've already purged out my cartridge here. Sometimes it gets a little clogged up in the end. And then I'm just going to put on a fresh static mix nozzle. This basically just crisscrosses it back and forth a bunch of times before it comes out of the end. And then we'll go ahead and just get started with a little bit of this panel bond. This has also a pretty long work time. So I think it's got a 90 minute work time, which is plenty for me, but this is very hot out in the sun today. So I'm gonna bet we're closer to something like 20 minute work time. So we'll start by just putting it on one of the two sides. You can see I'm wearing gloves because this stuff kind of likes to get everywhere here like that. And I'm just going to kind of try to evenly coat the surface. 
Actually, before I get too carried away, I'm gonna throw a piece of cardboard under the deck here so I don't uh, ruin my concrete. I'm also just gonna put a super thin coat on the mating piece here. And this isn't particularly structural, so it's really not gonna be that critical, but I wanna make sure it stays nice and bonded. Now I'll just set my piece on. And if you can clamp it, you're gonna to wanna to lightly clamp it. But uh, it's kind of a tricky spot here. So I'm just gonna throw some weight on it and let that do the work. The 3M version of this panel bond has um, glass beads in it so that you can't over clamp it. This version, I don't know about that, but I'm not too worried about it again. So we're going to weight it down. To offset it just a little bit there. And now we'll just let it sit for Oh, probably a good hour to two hours, and I should be able to take the weight off, especially with this heat. If it's a lot colder outside, you're going to want to probably let this stuff sit for 24 hours clamped. Here you can see the panel bond is nice and squeezed out from around the plate. So that's what you want to see when you clamp this. And now we've got a rock solid patch panel, and I can mow the lawn without a fountain of grass flying everywhere. We'll just throw a coat of paint on it and it's going to be all set to go. Thanks for watching.